Boom, here they come. Can you go over there so that I can see you? Right now it's facing this way. You need to flip the camera around. Well, I guess we'll zoom you do it the other way. Oh, look, it's got you in space. Oh, no, I can change it. <laughs> I guess you should meet
Hey everybody, this is John. Thanks for uh, tuning in today. We're really excited about doing this. Uh, it's three o'clock. We're gonna give everybody a couple more minutes to show up. We're expecting about 15 more people. So uh, let's just wait a couple minutes. In the meantime, why don't y'all feel free to go ahead and uh, start warming up. I see some of you are. Uh, make sure you're in a nice safe place. Just go ahead and start taking some swings, warm up. Uh, we'll give everybody a couple more minutes, then we'll get started. Thanks. Hi, right, welcome guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, today we're going to go over a few key drills that we can go ahead and give you to work on or follow along with us. Maybe do it on your own time, whatever works. Um, I'm Coach Payton. Coach Isaiah is right behind me. He's actually a pro, so he's going to kind of critique me and uh, use me as an example of what to not do, what to do, what things I do different, stuff like that. Um, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to see everybody's happy and healthy at home. Looking to Prove their swing, prove themselves as a player. So that being said, I am going to go ahead and let Isaiah start us off with the first drill. Looks like most of you were pretty warmed up. Um, we're going to kind of rotate in and out as we do this. So, Isaiah. All right. Um, I, I know there's a couple new faces, a couple returning guys. Welcome to everybody. Um, just to go over a little bit what we did last time, we just worked on inside middle and outside pitches um so during your warm-up session i hope for those guys who was who were around for that first session you guys started with that um we're going to start with a couple more minutes of that we're going to start with the outside pitch set it up a little bit further back in the zone and really work on staying closed without reaching in right so we want to keep that bat path like it would be up the middle and we're going to work on that away pitch uh hitting it to um to right center for those righties and left center for the lefties. So we're just gonna do a couple minutes of oppo and then we'll get started with some, some new drills. Gotcha. 
have some fancy setups here. I love it. Make sure you let them know that. Gotcha. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, outside pitches are going to generally put the ball in a different location towards the first base side. So feel free to move your net if you need to, so you don't accidentally hit the wall or anything. Remember to start, we'll just be nice and easy, about 40 to 50 percent effort, right? Slow control as much as possible. Those returning guys, you guys remember the balance point afterwards when you follow through. Whenever you finish, make sure we're in that good position and make sure we're checking ourselves. We'll let that back foot all the way turn. Remember squishing the bug. You want that nice L formation on that back leg with a straight front leg. Okay, remember to keep your balance. Some of these swings. Job, Declan. I see you over there. I nice swing, buddy. Like the Jersey, James. Yeah, I like that, James. New York represent. All right, for those few that are just now joining us, welcome. We're going to be working on um, opposite uh, approach for the T. So we're working on pulling the T a little bit further back in the zone. We're just warming up with some, some oppo T work right now. We'll do one or two more swings there and then we'll move to middle. All right, um, we're gonna set it up for a middle middle now. Uh, remember to just move your your uh, net over or your plate over, so um, you're you're making sure that you're hitting it right up the middle. So now we're moving the tee from back right towards the middle of the plate, a little bit further out in front. All these should go right up the middle, and after following through, you should feel completely balanced. You shouldn't be falling in or away from the plate. Um, there you go. So watch Coach Payton take a few swings as well, just to see what it looks like. See how he's balanced? It's a good effort level. He's balanced. He's under control. Okay. All right, let me see you guys get some swings in. Good job. So really exaggerate the follow through, right? There you go. Pause after the swing and double check to make sure that you have good balance point. Double check that back leg, make sure you're getting the L. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed. Couple more in the middle and then we'll work on inside. Feel free to put any questions in the chat box. We'll be uh, going over those at the end if you do have them. Good job, guys. All right, now we're gonna work on the inside pitch, okay? 
This inside pitch, obviously you're gonna bring the baseball a little bit closer to you and even further out front uh, in the zone, okay? So it's gonna be the same swings, right? So we have the swing for right up the middle. The only things that are changing are the outside pitches, you're catching a little bit further back in the zone. Inside pitches, we're gonna actually catch out front of the zone, okay? Nothing else changes. We're not going to step out for outside pitches and we're not gonna step in for inside pitches. Remember, we're always stepping right towards the pitcher, right towards where the ball's coming from, okay? The only thing that's changing is where you're hitting the baseball now. It's gonna be out front, so just a little bit further out front in the zone, out front of the plate. Keep in mind also, inside pitches, people tend to create space. What I mean by that is they're, they're gonna lean back, right, so they can get out with their hands in front of the ball. We're still going into the ball, just like Isaiah said. Everything's coming through around at the same time. It's all about the timing. That's why we have the ball out in front of us, right? So that way we're not going away from the ball. We're still going to the ball and attacking it, getting in that zone, right where we need to. It's very, it's very important for these, especially, to really keep your hands nice inside the body, right? So if our hands leak out away from our body, it's really hard to bring them back in to hit that inside pitch. Okay, so really focus on keeping those hands in nice and tight to let the bat work through the zone. Remember, same thing, we're all stepping to the pitcher, right? We're not trying to create space by opening up our front foot. We wanna keep it straight to the pitcher. Nothing changes but where we're hitting the ball in the zone. We'll do a couple more right there. All right, so this next one that we're gonna be working on is really going to train you to keep your upper body in check and keep your hands inside the baseball. So for this next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the bat on our back shoulder, okay? And we're gonna keep this back elbow nice and tight on your back hip, okay? So we're gonna start here and it's gonna just be a rock drill. We're gonna start here, one, two, three and with the bat on that back uh, shoulder the whole time we're going to twist and then let it off the back shoulder to hit the ball okay we're going to set up the teeth so, so it's right down the middle and then we're just going to focus on the upper body okay so we're going to stride get our nice stride length and then we're just going to work with the bat on the back shoulder we're just going to rotate and twist focus and practice keeping your hands inside and letting it loose at the last second to hit that ball at the middle I want to switch the uh, We're going to rotate ca camera angle so you can get a better idea of what we're doing here. All right. So here, same thing. We're still working middle, middle, back to middle, middle. We're going to start with the bat on our back shoulder. We're just going to rock into it. We're going to get our, our stride, whatever seems comfortable, right? And we're going to keep our hands inside, rock, rock. And in the last second, we're going to swing from our back shoulder. Keep it on our back shoulder until we're ready to swing. So rock, rock, swing, okay? Right? Keep it on that back shoulder.
Looking good, Mr. Harris. I see Ryan down there doing a good job too. Nice job, buddy. Good job, Andrew. Lots of hard work you can see. Good job. I'm going to do about five more swings with that. Job, Kai. All right, so now we're going to break it down even further, okay, after you get those last couple swings. Okay, this next one, we're gonna work on the bottom hand, okay? So for you righties, it's gonna be your left hand. For you lefties, it's gonna be your right hand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna choke up on the bat almost halfway, and we're gonna work on bottom hand only, okay? So for you righties, it's gonna be your left hand, all right? Bats are gonna be heavy. We're not looking to swing hard here. We're gonna choke up a lot on the bat, and we're gonna work on making contact with just this front side. This is gonna train your front side to stay engaged and close to your body, okay? So if you are one of those guys who like to open up and try to hit hard, you're gonna pull off the baseball and it's gonna be a lot harder to hit off of the tee, okay? So this is gonna really, really help you keep that front side engaged and closed. So you're gonna be having the tee out front and we're gonna just use the top hand. Remember, we're not gonna to try to hit this hard, we're just trying to make contact and have some backspin on the baseball so we get some nice uh, lift right up the middle. Do a couple of those. Let me see you guys work with that. If you miss, it's not a big deal. This is kind of new for some of you guys. Remember, we're choking up on the back. There you go. See how Coach Payton's doing that nice and easy? This isn't trying to hit home runs one-handed or anything like that. We're just working on getting that front side nice and tight and right to the baseball. Another good idea, I see some of you guys doing it, like Declan, I see you doing a nice job. You don't have to hold this bat up, right, like you normally do. You can rest it on your back shoulder if that makes it a little bit easier for you. It's still the same concept. We're going from right here, and we're driving forward instead of driving and pulling out or uh, overturning in, okay? So you can rest on that back shoulder until you're ready to swing right to the baseball. We're going to take about two, three more swings and we're going to mix it up next.
All right, looking good, everybody. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next drill. Um, this next drill, I'm going to have a little demonstration or a diagram to kind of draw out what you guys are going to be doing. So we have three zones, right? We got the inside, the middle, and the outside, what we all just worked on, correct? So inside each of these three zones is three more zones. So we have the high, right? High inside, high middle, high outside. We have the middle, middle, right? Everybody's favorite pitch, right? Then all the way down low, right? Kind of just above the kneecap, right? Those are the, what we call the nine point hot spots. Those are all potential strikes, all potential places where you're gonna have to be ready to hit anytime, right? Live game situation, can't say, oh, this is a bad pitch for me to hit, I'm just not gonna swing. All right, could be the game winning pitch. So we're gonna go ahead and work on mixing up the different heights inside the different zones, just overall owning that plate. Now Isaiah's gonna help us out with that. Right, so what we're gonna do is, this is gonna require you to have uh, to move the tee around a little bit. Um, we're gonna work on the start, we're gonna do middle, middle, but we're gonna work high tee, okay? This is a drill that a lot of guys do, even at the higher levels. Re wanna work on that high fastball, okay? So we're gonna bring the tee up just below the chest, Okay, and we're gonna work on making sure our hands stay up and on that plane. So we're swinging through the zone at the top of the zone. Okay, we're gonna work on that first. So everybody just bring the tee up just below the chest and we'll do a couple swings there. And just be careful that some of these might pop up over your net. So you might want to bring the net either closer or just really focus on staying on top of the baseball and trying to hit the top half of the baseball to really to bring it down and, 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 and flat through the zone. Keep in mind, it's not going to be comfortable, and that's okay. That's why we're doing it, right? So in game, we don't have to feel uncomfortable. We can feel confident. Do about five more swings of high T and then we'll move it. And remember, throughout these swings, we're still working on everything else, right? The bottom half doesn't change. We want to swing and make sure we're checking after every swing that we're in a good finishing position. You work as a great point to know about what you're doing. A couple more swings. All right, looks like some of you guys are running out of baseballs. We'll give you a quick, quick pickup of all the balls real quick. Go ahead. Then we're going to set up the T for low T. It's still going to be middle, middle. We're just going to bring it down right above the knees, okay? So a lot of tendencies with the, the low, low pitch after practice, top for so long, 
uh, our tendency is to open up the front side and come up out of our swing. The low pitch, this one's really gonna train our bodies to stay on the pitch the entire way, okay? That doesn't mean we're gonna dip down to go get it. That just means that we're gonna keep our eyes down and focused, and we're not gonna open up that front side. That front side is very important, okay? So the, the high pitch, it's kind of easy to open up and swing on top, but now we're gonna work on these low pitches to where we are having to keep ourselves closed and straight and all the way through the ball. Okay, we're gonna do low middle. Yeah, right at the knees, guys, right at the knees. In mixing up the tee, you guys should be able to identify at least two things, which are worst pitches, which are best pitches, which one do you like the best, which one do you cream the most? It's two good things to know. All right, let's see if you guys are ready to mix it up even further. So I'm gonna give you a placement of the T and that's where I want you to set it up. We're gonna take about three swings at that position and then I'm gonna change it again on you so you don't get uh, too much repetition uh, and get too comfortable with any one pitch. So the first one I want you guys to do is set up the T low and away from you, okay? Low and away. We'll take about five, five swings low and away, and then I'll, I'll switch it up again. All under control. Remember with these, we're not reaching our hands out to go get it. We're trusting our body and our hands that the barrel will get there, okay? more all right all right now now we're going to set up the t middle and inside okay so it's going to be middle in bring it nice and tight so now we're going to see if you guys made the adjustment so if it the ball was outside and your hands were coming out and you were cheating to go get it this way, now I'm bringing it in nice and tight. So this is gonna force you to really bring your hands in and stay inside the baseball. Go ahead, I'll give you a couple minutes to do some middle end. Job, some good swings in here. Remember, we're keeping those hands in nice and tight. We're not opening up, we're staying closed, just like on the outside pitch. But the only difference is, is we're really focusing on keeping those hands inside the baseball. And those hands and that back elbow nice and tight with the body. All right, do about three more swings there and then we'll move it again. All right, so now this next one, we're gonna do in a way, okay? 
So bring the tee up just below the chest and push it to the outside part of the plate. Remember, same thing. We're not we're gonna be reaching out to go get it or come down on top, right? It's the same swing, keeping your hands in nice and tight, but now we're making contact here, okay? Nice and tight. Keeping that bat level at the top of the zone. Up top and away. All right, now we're switching it up one last time. You guys ready? All right, we're gonna do low and inside, okay? Bring in the plate, nice and low at just about the knees. If you wanna challenge yourself, bring it down a little bit further, just below the knees and bring that all the way into the inside part of the plate. So this one, if, if you feel like you're grounding and if you feel like you're rolling over, really focus on keeping those hands in nice and tight Bring them in even tighter. This one's really gonna force you to bring your hands in and let the barrel work through the zone. So low and inside, last one. And really try to force yourselves to put this over the shortstop's head, okay? We don't wanna pull this one all the way down the line. Really try to keep your hands inside and force it over the shortstop's head for you righties, second, uh, second baseman's head for you lefties. There you go. All right, now that we're done with that, we have a couple more minutes. We're gonna do some uh, fun drills at the end. So this next one is called the step back drill. This one is gonna really emphasize getting your weight back on your back leg and keeping it there, okay? That's where all your power is gonna come from. It's gonna be twisting off of that back foot, okay? So what we're gonna do with the step back, looking from the side, okay? We're gonna start a little bit farther forwards in the zone, or in the box, I'm sorry. Right in front of the plate, what we're going to do is we're going to step back, pause, and then come forward and hit. But when we're swinging through, we don't want to uh, lurch forward, okay? We want to step back, gather ourselves nice and balanced, and swing while always keeping the weight on your back foot, okay? So do a couple of those. Move up in the box, step back, and swing. And you can set this up middle, middle, okay? Can actually switch the uh, you can switch side of the yep, So, front of the zone right here, hands ready, back. Get your balance and then come forward through the baseball. Couple more of those. Still trying to be slow and intentional about it, even though it may feel like a uh, fast paced drill. That pause right there. Take a good second to check yourself right before you swing. Make sure you've got yourself in a good position. Remember, I see some of you guys also, when you're doing your step back, your front shoulder is coming in when you step back. Make sure that this is all flat, right? Your front shoulder is always facing the pitcher, right? So when we do it, we're, when we step back, we don't want to overturn, okay? Still staying under control, 
Step back, always facing the pitcher the whole time. Do a couple more of those. Nice job. Nice job, Andrew. Do about five more swings there, and then we'll go on to our, our last one. All right, this last one is gonna be pretty fun. This one's called the Happy Gilmore Drill. If you guys seen that movie, you guys will know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna show you. So this one's gonna be the opposite. What we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna start in the back of the box and we're gonna take a step forward into our swing, okay? So I'm gonna show you, um, come back here. So we're gonna start in the back of the box, okay? We're gonna step behind with our back foot, and up and then, okay? A little bit harder to do, but this is a fun drill and this is a good way to also make sure that we're not leaning forward and that we're staying behind the baseball afterward. So you're gonna step behind, forward, and swing through. Almost like karaoke, but just as slow as you time before you start trying to kill the ball. Go nice and slow. Slow and controlled. Forward, behind, through. I'll do a couple more so you guys can see. Front foot, back foot, behind, come up, follow through. Nice job, Zach. Do a few more nice and slow for you. Back in the zone, front foot, back foot behind, and then all the way through to swing, okay? Do it again. Front foot forward, back foot right behind, all the way through. Good job, Colin. This is really testing your ability to stay back on that back leg and testing your balance. Almost like foot, mind, and hands coordination. Carl's got a good swing. I saw that. Nice job. Good job, Zach. Nice job, Declan. Do about five more good ones. Five more good ones.
All right, nice job, guys. That's the last drill that I have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Peyton, anything else there? Yeah, no, absolutely. This was great, especially for me. I know even as a coach, I still need to work on my swing and no better way to do it than the tee. He's a pro player and he still works off the tee. Still working off the tee. Tee is very important. No matter what level you're at, it's always good to go back to the basics and, and really hone in your skills, even at the most basic level. So tee work is always a good option, especially in times like this. It was very revealing for me today on things that I need to work on. I catch myself slipping all the time, whether it's opening up my shoulders, dipping, whatever, you name it. We're all capable of making mistakes. We're all human. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let Mr. John close this out. I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you guys, see if you guys have any questions. Make sure nobody all talks at once. Okay? There we go. Anybody have any questions, comments? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brian, buddy. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Who has a sister you. that plays softball? Raise your hand if you have a sister that plays softball. <laughs> has one. Ethan has one. Declan has one. All right. Hey, Who else? Carly. So here's Coach Carly. Softball. going to be starting some softball lessons. Is, is your sister Hi, around? Hi, Declan. <laughs> Tell Molly. She better yeah. be signing yeah. up. Tell your sister. <laughs> All right, four o'clock. We're going to do some softball classes starting later in the week. Okay. Good. Good. Right. Thank you. Hey, thanks hey, for thanks. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. See some of you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank Close it out. Bye. See ya.